You need an air conditioner if you live in a trailer park or a mobile home community, especially in Rancho Cordova, El Dorado Hills, Citrus Heights, or Sacramento. Mobile home HVAC systems are a lifesaver for elderly folks and young folks in our area. But if that system has reached its maximum potential, has a major repair needed, or is just plain old too noisy for you, it might be time to change your mobile home's HVAC system. There are two major brand names of mobile home furnaces, Coleman, which is made by Johnson Controls, and Intertherm, which is made by Nordine. Both systems look very similar, and I would go as far to say that Coleman and Intertherm furnaces are mechanically the same. As a technician, when we take the door off the front of these units, both systems' parts are in the same location. There's really no difference. Weird, I know. While they're pretty straightforward in the removal and replacement of the system, there are some essential parts of the job that just can't be messed up. One is the sheet metal transition back to the existing ductwork. Another is the condensate drainage. It still requires a P-trap even though that the evaporator coil is sitting right level with the floor. And the gas piping needs a gas sediment trap that meets the new building code standard, California Plumbing Code 1212.8. Also, the exhaust needs proper flue connection to the roof line and into the atmosphere. Coleman and intertherm evaporator coils don't normally come with a thermal expansion valve that's already connected, so those need to be field installed by the technician. And then finally, high and low voltage connections need to be made safely. Things like this make reconnecting a furnace to the trailer home more technical than some people think. It's details like this that make it important to choose the right contractor when you want to replace your mobile home furnace. Whether you have a double wide or single wide mobile home, Fox Family Heating and Air technicians are real professionals when it comes to this process. The biggest issue that we hear from mobile home owners is airflow. Why is airflow such a problem in mobile homes? Good airflow, balanced airflow, is a basic desire of an HVAC system owner. It's called central air conditioning, and the air delivery at every register should be sufficient for each individual room. The fundamentals of airflow are equal distribution at each register according to the size of the room. In a typical house, each room has a register and duct size specifically for that room. Like a 90 square foot room might have a six inch duct to it with a 12 by six supply register while a 45 square foot bathroom might only need a four inch duct with an eight by four supply register. Designing the ductwork this way will make sure that each room feels the same temperature. Mobile homes have two main trunks. One trunk is further away from the furnace than the other. That point alone means that the farther trunk will get less air to it than the closer one. Air, like water, flows in the path of least resistance. Each trunk has three or four supply registers that are the same size. Those registers are connected to trunks that are essentially the same size all the way down. Basically, this all comes down to air not pressurizing properly. So even if the furnace were located right in the middle of the two main trunks, some rooms, like the bathroom, might get more air than other rooms because the same amount of air is coming out of all the rooms. So can that airflow be fixed? It would take some creativity to get under the house, undo the bundled insulation surrounding the ducts, and then break into them. If you could get there, perhaps some manual dampers could be fabricated to redirect airflow elsewhere in the house. Respectfully, the mobile home's ductwork under the house was designed and built the most economically efficient process for the manufacturer as possible. That just means that they're not going as far with the quality of the central HVAC system as the rest of the house. Mobile HVAC systems work just fine though. There are many advantages of owning a mobile home. Affordability, design flexibility, friendly communities, and they appreciate in value just as much as any home. There are pros and cons to everything. It's just that airflow happens to be something that we hear from mobile homeowners the most. But no doubt, the HVAC systems themselves will keep you warm in the winters and cool in the summers. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.